Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are at the little goblin area we had to go to for Nessing where he sent us over here to test some stuff. So we're here. I know I'm Hunter, huh? Is that a joke? Fine, fine. What's the boss want? What the boss wants, the boss gets. I'll start working on a prototype as soon as I finish up my latest project. The howlers in these hills travel in packs. Three against one isn't a fight I want to pick. Luckily, those wolves are no match for my engineering skills. I just put the finishing touches on the prototype of a device that will help scatter the pack. All I need now is some ammo. Snatch me some rabbits from the meadow south of here, and I'll let you be the first to try out the hand cannon. Alright. That sounds good. What can I, do for you? I don't know why Hammett hunts with Razik. His contraptions are unreliable at best. A true hunter doesn't need gadgets to hunt. They rely on instinct, skill, and agility. So tell me, Strip Club Hero, do you have the skills of a true hunter? Better yet, prove it. Take down some of those bone beak hawks that circle the nearby meadow. Alright, so we gotta grab some rabbits for the goblin to shoot. And we gotta kill some of these some of these hawks. Not a problem. Sounds like an easy job to me. Is that a rabbit? That's a fucking rock. Alright. <laughs> That's a fucking rock. Feels bad. I'm going blind. Help. So I've been using Soulbringer a lot. I feel... I just killed this guy, by the way. This uh, rare mob that's over here. If you're wondering I'm not, why I'm not killing him. I killed him on the way here. So I wouldn't bore you with my... Uh, my slow kill. Hey, get over here. Why you killed the bunnies? I need them. Oh, did I? I killed it, didn't I, with my jump? Feels bad. Stop killing all the god darn bunnies. I'm gonna wipe out all the birds in this area. Hey, bunny! I'm coming. I got you. Don't worry. Did you... Ugh. <laughs> uh, so, last time, last episode, I talked about... I was reading a little bit more about Destiny 2. Uh, apparently, it's going to... Uh, they've got big plans, they say. Uh, just as they did, of course, with Destiny originally. Like, oh, the planets are going to be massive. You're going to be able to go off and do whatever the hell you want. And then it ended up being, you know, pretty much an instance. With a little bit of open world element to it. Um, which was... Which was disappointing. When, when you think about it, I mean... But, they're working with limitations, and they probably couldn't uh, couldn't figure out how to do that and do it uh, in a way that would allow players to have a good experience. So, I get it. I know. I mean, that's, that's what happens. You fucking... <laughs> this, these fucking birds just aggro from a mile away, and then they kill everything. Uh, so remember, we are level 110 now, so if it looks like it's taken me a little bit more uh, to kill some of these mobs, it's because it is. Uh, most of you at 110, when you're killing these mobs, you're, you know, item level, whatever. I'm at 783, so I may have maybe a little bit uh, slower as I start to gear a little more. Uh, and like I said, we'll be, we're still going to be doing our leveling process. I know I'm 110. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, go off the beaten path. Uh, we're going to finish up this zone, head straight into Storm... Uh, do the dungeon for the zone, of course. And then we're going to head straight into Stormheim and finish that up, finish that dungeon, and start our Suramar quest. Uh, and I'll get myself to... Uh, I'm probably going to get myself... I'll do some videos there. I'll probably have a couple of videos there because of the time it takes to get friendly with Suramar or the Nightfallen. And then, Welcome. now that's how a real hunter does it. Oh, I'll tell you in a second. Yo. Have you snatched the rabbits yet? Mm, these rabbits are a bit bigger than I thought, but we should still be able to stuff a few of them into a hand cannon. It's time to attack the pack. I preloaded the hand cannon. All you have to do is point and shoot. The critters should survive the blast and hit the ground running. The howlers will be distracted by the critters, allowing you to focus on killing the pack leaders. Happy hunting. Have a good one. Cool. Um, I'll do some Suramar. Uh, to start off with, and then, you know, in between, I will be doing my dailies and my world quests. Like I said, I'll probably, I'll probably do a couple videos showing off how world quests work. 
I probably could have been doing that for a while now, but uh, on my other characters. But I'll do it since I'm just getting to them now, so you can see how all that works. I'll show you how the flight whistle works. Um, mostly for the people who don't, <laughs> who may be thinking about coming back to WoW. If you watch this video, um, it's more for you that I'll be doing those little world quest videos uh, to show you how everything works there. And I'll explain, you know, somehow, somehow that works. Or at least how, how my understanding of how they work. And then, uh, I'll finish up Suramar. I'll absolutely finish up Suramar. And uh, we'll check out some other dungeons. Check out uh, some of the dungeons we haven't done, like Black Rook Hold. Uh, we also have Maw of Souls, which we haven't done. Of course, we'll have done uh, Neltharian's Lair when we finish this zone up, and then we'll be doing Halls of Valor in Stormheim when we finish that zone, as we finish our questing over there. Uh, so we'll do those two extra dungeons, and then I'll have to, uh, at, once we've gotten to a certain reputation in Suramar, I'll be able to show you uh, Court of Stars and... What the hell is the other one called? Court of Stars and something else. I forget. Doesn't matter. We'll check those out. Oh, and also the Vault of the Wardens. We'll check out. Which is a fun one. The uh, the last boss on there has a some interesting mechanics to him. I can't attack that. I, I, why not? Why can't you attack that? You, sh you certainly can attack that. You're just choosing not to. Boom. Shooting rabbits at stuff, it doesn't make sense. Gul'dan and Sargeras are trying to destroy our world, and we're shooting rabbits out of guns at packs of wolves. Come on, man. We're supposed to be the best. Ooh, fox flower. Maybe we'll get one of those fox running around. We... Oh! Oh! Hey, give me all your flowers. Did I get them all? No, there's still some over here. Give me this. I love that. I have no fuck. It didn't show up. So, oh, here we go. We got a lot of fox flower there. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's head back up here. How many? How much do I have in general? I'm not quite. Uh, got 50 so far. Time is money, Fred. You made it back without any scratches. It looks like the backfire issue from the last prototype worked itself out. A few more tweaks and I'd say this hand cannon is ready for mass production. Thank you for your help, Strip Club Hero. So you get the uh, the hand cannon pet, which I have, so we're going to delete that. Uh, now we're going to be heading to the north to Skyhorn, which is right over here. Let's, uh... uh um... Hold on. What the fuck is happening? Am I really stuck on the damn tree? Good fortune to our friends. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> this happens every single time I do something. I didn't I didn't want to open that, I just wanted to <sighs> There we go. Perfect. Everything worked out. It all worked out. Uh, if you're looking to finish up, I believe it's the Skyhorn uh, Kite, which you've probably seen me use here, and I already have it right up here. If you were heading to Skyhorn, there's a bridge here. Before you get there, there's this little cliff that you can climb, and you see this branch right here? It's actually, like, jutting out from the rocks. There is, on the end of that, a chest, and that's where you get one of the final pieces of the uh, the Skyhorn Kite, so... If you're looking to get that and you're, you're very confused when you're looking at uh, handy notes, it'll tell you, you know, it's on the cliff above uh, this this uh, cavern right here. And it's literally up here, and it's on this tree branch that's sticking out. You just got to jump on the branch. But uh, we're going to head down here real quick. There's a mini boss down here. So we'll do that so you can see where this one is. I know some of these, I try and do some of them. Some of these uh, 
off the beaten path things. So this is the beastly boxer, Torson. And uh, I'm the heavyweight champion of High Mountain. You think you can take me on, kid? It'll be a punch out. Show me what you're worth, but when I knock you down, don't get up. Beware the deep places. I don't think that's, uh. I don't think that's gonna be how this works, bud. And then when he does this stupid jab shit, this is like, uh, the monk attack, just stand behind him. Okay, stop, stop, watch the jaw, you win. I've never seen such speed before. You're a good kid, Mac. Keep it up. I'll be back for my belt someday. So, if you're, uh, if you're wondering... Also, <laughs> if you ever bring a follower on that, uh, you'll hit the ta target dummies behind, and he'll just stay doing that. Try to get him to drop combat, but he never does. So you gotta walk a little bit down the, the road here. Which is gonna lead us to a, uh, a little mini quest area that we have to do, or we're going to do. That's a long drop. There's a little quest over here uh, with some kobolds. That's kind of fun. We'll grab this. Have you come to trade? I've been dead for centuries without having my grave so disturbed. The leader of the local kobolds has stolen my skull from my grave and wears it upon his head. He's down in the cave below, but a gate blocks your path from retrieving it directly. Kobolds know their leadership by the skulls they wear. They are unintelligent enough to believe the, the, their leader if you have one yourself. Kill one of their skull captains and recover his skull of bossing around, and they may let you in the cave. These kobolds are taking advantage of the attacks against the Skyhorn tribe. They disturb our graves and steal anything they can get their paws on. I can do nothing to stop them. Please rid the sacred burial ground of the kobold. Alright, man. Or lady. Alright, lady. Shut up. All of you, follow me! Come on. Round him up. Kill them all. What was I talking about? Oh, the, uh... That, uh, rare mob that we did down in the cave, the boxer, that was kind of a, a little mini reference to... Is that a better trinket? is a better trinket. Uh, that is kind of a reference to an old game called Punch-Out. Uh, a lot of people may not know that. If you're an older gamer, you may have uh, may have seen it. I believe it's on the original Nintendo. It was a, it was a uh, boxing game. It was a lot of fun back in the day. It probably doesn't stand the test of time uh, as much as some other games have, or some more recent games. So, uh, you can look that up. Uh, it's an old game called Punch-Out. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I believe it was called. Uh, Mike Tyson was the final boss, if you will, of the game. It was a lot of fun. I was really bad at it, so... I never got far enough to fight Mike Tyson. That was, that was never my forte, that game. But it was, it was a lot of fun. I played it many times. It was one of the many games back in the day that you couldn't save, so you had to start and play it all the way to the finish uh, to actually uh, see it. You couldn't save and then work on a certain boss or a certain fight over and over. Alright, we got the skull of bossing around and we killed enough of the annoying little kobolds in their candle loving. We can go turn these two in. Sweet! Hey lady, I got your skull and things. The desecration. This will work perfectly, I believe. Some of them seem to be digging less enthusiastically, at the very least. Go talk to Blue Wax Gatekeeper and see if he will let you through the, to the Candle King. If you can get through by donning the skull, the smell will be worth it. Alright, so now the kobolds in the area are friendly to us because, uh, you can't really... See, we're wearing, we're wearing the skull here. So they think we're one of them, which is good shit. Uh, let me go see. No, nope, nobody's doing it right now. 
Where are you? Excuse me. Here he is, right behind the gate. The guy we gotta to talk to. What you want, Stinky? You know, come in yet. Give orders to other kobold on throne of ordering around if you want in. Then maybe we talk. Okay. Okay. So there's a uh, mini boss here. And uh, to get him to spawn, you need to hit these candles so that the area blacks out, I think. And the, uh, they light back up if you don't do it fast enough, if I recall correctly. And this guy is actually a world quest today, so <laughs> he might kick my ass. He's got increased health and increased damage. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully I can handle this without any problems. Hopefully. Follow me. Get out of that shit. It doesn't look like we'll have too many problems. This is where the fun is, when he starts summoning these rifts. You gotta get rid of these, otherwise you'll be dealing with a hundred thousand damn imps. But we're okay. We're okay for now. Why am I not healing? I feel like I'm not getting any of my health back. Did I, did I, just, did I just stop healing for some reason? Does this guy like have a debuff on me that I'm not noticing? Ugh. Killed a rift. Come over here. Oh, absorbing healing. Oh, that's not, that's no good. I could have sworn you couldn't interrupt those, but apparently you can interrupt the uh, shadow bolts so that you don't, uh, uh, over here, mate. Kill the rift. Boy, this uh, boy had a lot of health. That's one of the big, uh, bigger issues that I have sometimes is if some of these bosses are uh, for the world quest, you can end up having a real big pain in the ass if nobody's around doing them because I play uh, a good portion of the time pretty late. But here's the throne of ordering around. If you stand on this, you kind of become a quest giver. Uh, what do you want me to find? Me have shovel. Always give them the command that sounds like you're speaking... Like a three-year-old. Go find shiny, dig dirt in place. This one has dull mind but sharp chisel. You need kill? My chisel axe best in sharpness ever. You kill Basilisk, biggest in cave. Bring back. I poke it dead for you, boss. Here comes the next guy. Too slow, boss not have all day. Move too fast, candle blow out. Darkness eat me. What do you want me do? Can wax off extra hairs. Make drip bath? Check ears for waxes? Make big candle. Lots of wax. You pick best digger. Dug not best. Dug good enough, though. I mine. You know take pickaxe. Where you want rocks dug? Want the metals? Pick a little dull. Dig rocks. Find pretties. More pretty is better. I feel like I'm having a fucking stroke. Jesus. Alright, so, we've sent them on our quest, you go back and talk to the guy at the gate, and he says, What you doing back so soon? Why you come back already? I have to wait until jobs are done or I know let you through. Go back to Throne of Ordering around and make sure they finish. So you gotta come back, sit on the throne again, and wait for our friends to come back to us. I found shiniest shinies for boss. Give me that. You find shiny coins at Berry Place. So many, so shiny. What do you do with them? What me do with them? You keep one, I keep rest. Boss is the best. Now that I think about it, that's pretty much what we fucking do. Nope. Killed biggest basilisk and heaviest. It did now. I get reward. Best kill job me seen. You get best reward. Uh, and then we can click on this junk pile next to us, which uh, can be a little tricky if you got a follower with you. 
Grab a ward and give it to him. Give him a boot. This best boot ever. Bet it burns brighter than candle. And he's got a boot on his head. Where's Doug? Should be back. Boss, go find. So the, uh, the Doug guy, he's dead. He didn't make it. Click on him right here. Unfortunate. Now we gotta meet with Kindle, who is... You would think up top, but he's not. He's actually down this way, over here, next to where we came in. What the hell just happened to my, my mouse? Hope he's up here. You can see him at the top. The uh, the basilisks. Basilisk. There's a chest over here we can grab. Get some extra order resources. That's the only reason I stop for most of these is to get the order resources. The the artifact power is nice, but you can make up for that at max level pretty fast. Uh, so we talked to this guy here. Candle almost ready. Just needs magic touch and Candle King will have best candle I ever make. We think I have just the right touch. So we take the candle men for the Candle King. And we will go back to the gate. Don't you hit me. I'm just going to let us through now. You come in when jobs are done. What that? You have Candle King's special candle. Okay, guess you can go say hi to Candle King now. I'm coming in. I'm just like one of you. There's no difference between me and you. My frames just fell to shit for no reason. Uh, so we gotta kill the Candle King. Not a problem. It's probably metamorphosis. We use it to... We use it too rarely these days. We don't really take uh, enough damage. Just out questing. You did, boy. Alright, now we got Oenia's skull, and that's the uh, ghostly tauren we saw up top. Uh, problem is, now all the little shits are mad at us. So, we gotta, gotta sneak out of here. I don't really give a shit about these guys, so I'm just gonna hop, skip, and jump away. Stop hitting me. Let's get up to our uh, quest lady and go. Hello? Invisible. Bye bye. I have, just the have you found my you. skull? Thank the spirits, these kobolds do not honor their ancestors in the way we do. I can rest peacefully now. The way I said that made it sound a lot different than the tone that she actually had for that. Ride the winds. Uh -huh. All right, so you finish there, and she's going to disappear. Uh, excuse me. That rat fucking chased me all the way out here. Come on. Uh, so that will be a world quest uh, at some point. Just keep that in mind. This guy's fighting battle pits. Pokemon. Uh, but now we're at Skyhorn. We actually came up the back way to Skyhorn. If you came in manual, uh, regularly, you'd come in just that way. Uh, so here's the Flight Master, which, for some reason, High mountain I already had. Don't the remember coming over here. Ha-ha! And what are you, tiny creature? Have you come to battle us or join us in battle? I know why Mela sent you. But as you have seen, the Drogbar are not the only threat to High Mountain. I will not send forces to support until we deal with the minions of High Crawliac. If you want to help, find my shaman. He was supposed to be depressing, dispersing the fires that are ravaging my village. He was last seen heading for his spirit lodge to the south just before the cinder which has descended on us. Alright, so the shaman's right over here. You can head across these bridges to make it. I think this lady's gonna fight us. Fuck you, bitch. Some throwing shit at me. So, Mr. Shaman is over here. Windmaster Julan. He he didn't make it. So we're going to take his totem. We're going to put out these fires ourselves. These pain in the booties are going to be uh, attacking us as well. So we may have to kill some of these witches. Uh, and you can just click on the totem. And aim them around. Where did, uh... Kama Com just fucking left. He's he's out. He peaced out. Right, we're at six of eight. Seven. And that should do it.
Nice. Alright, put out our fires. Let's go back and talk to Chief Skyhorn. Or Chief of the Skyhorn. Lasan Skyhorn. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Julan is dead. He was a good shaman and full of life. Not as morbid as some of these spirit walkers. I will miss his laughter tonight. High Crowley has taught our witches how to curse our beloved eagles in the vile rocks you see assaulting the valley. There's no way to break this curse once it has taken hold. We will take to the skies and do battle with the rocks, but we, ne we will need your help on the ground. Head north through Dark Feather Valley and release any eagles that you find. Every eagle you save is one less rock we must to kill later. Skyhorn, take to the air and show these harpies and the rocks the meaning of battle. Yes. So they're going to head up uh, and attack the rocks. While they're doing that, uh, there's actually a bonus objective here too, but since I am max level, I do not see it anymore because I'm supposed to be doing world quests. But as you can see, uh, the leveling process <laughs> is not perfect, and I'm, I'm not mad at that. But uh, I clicked on him. Why didn't it take? Hello? You're free. Go free, friend. Um, the leveling process is not perfect. And uh, you, you level much faster, especially if you do every quest in the zone uh, and pick up a lot of... I'd actually have been 110 probably a little bit faster had I been picking up every single uh, chest and stuff like that. But I did that on the beta. Uh, I picked up... A lot of the chests on the beta, rather. I didn't have any add-ons, so I didn't know where they all were, but... Um, I didn't want to wait. We'd, we'd be way behind if I did that. We'd be another three episodes before we'd be here. Three or three to five. And I don't want to make you go through that yet. Get over here. Everybody stand in the shit. Do what the people on Raid Finder do. So we were, what were we talking about before I got distracted? We were talking about uh, Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is on its way, or in production at least. It's probably since they just released Rise of the Iron, or Rise of Iron, or whatever the hell that expansion is that they just came out with. We're probably uh, at least a year away from any major details on, on a Destiny 2, but pretty excited. I would love to be able to play some Destiny. Uh, on the PC. My PC probably... <laughs> my Destiny... or my Destiny. My PC probably won't handle it, to be honest. So, I'll have to... Oh, my God. My well, can you burn it in their general direction, friend? Uh, my PC right now probably wouldn't run it. I'm assuming it would be uh, pretty intense on the uh, on the old video card, but... I would definitely like to give it a try. I would like to give a try to uh, a Destiny 2. It always seems odd when an MMO goes to uh, a second version, I guess. When they go, oh, Destiny 2 or... Shut the fuck up. Oh, you're a pain in my ass, ladies. Or when they always get, when they go to a, you know, a second one, like Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2, and... When Final Fantasy MMOs switch. Always feels like those MMOs aren't really maybe worth getting into. If, they, if, you're, having, if you're having to make a second one, kind of feels off. There is a rare mob up here. I'm going to see if anyone's up here. Because he's, uh, he's got a lot of health today. 7.8 million. Nah. Take too much time to kill him. We'll be... We'll spend the next five minutes killing him. But there is one there, so if you're if you're here, that's a world quest today. Right up this uh, ledge, there's a there's a big rock up on top of there, R O C. Uh, but Destiny 2, excited, would like to give it a try. Probably gonna need a new computer for that one, and a beast ass uh, card. Am I supposed to go up that way? Yep. Yeah, fuck. I'm supposed to be going this way. I wasn't aware. Um, I'm so excited. I'm now 110 on this Demon Hunter. I wanted I wanted to make this Demon Hunter my main uh, for this expansion, and I just have been slow 
about doing these videos and so I actually <laughs> he's actually gonna be my third max level or he, he is my third now max level character there's a bunch of stuff we're gonna go do in that cave the sky your bravery has returned to, to us some of our fine feathered friends well done now how do you feel about a frontal assault when High Crawley X seized control of the Harpies, she placed three powerful and deadly witches in charge of the covens under her command. These witches must die. Fill up for the challenge. Head into the Haglands behind me and find these three evil creatures. We will cover you from the air and give your prey no sky to retreat. Look for us higher up the mountain should you survive. Remember, most enemies forget Proceed on foot into the Haglands and slay any Harpies you find. Quell their numbers. We will provide air support and force your prey to the ground where you can deal with them. Show these witches the fury of your well, your... You. I could do that. Let's uh, check in here. As we have a couple quests we could do for our buddy here. Ooh, have you come to train? The Drogbar use these caves as a place to train fledgling worms. The rock crawlers are, fairly, are young and fairly weak for now, but in time they will grow in size and strength. Without our intervention, the worms will morph into the monstrosities that the Drogbar ride into battle. Their guts are also known to be quite useful, and I have need of them. Two worms, one stone. Eagles are re eagles are revered by the Skyhorn tribe, but their numbers are dwindling. The Drogbar feed their fledgling worms eagle eggs so they'll grow strong enough to ride into battle. If the Drogbar continue to pilfer these eggs, the eagles may become extinct. Head deeper into the cave and recover any eagle eggs you can find. The, deep places of the, earth. the Drogbar will continue to breed vicious worms as long as their tamer lives. Korgruel is responsible for turning fledgling rock crawlers into the monstrous siege worms that are ridden into battle. Head deep into the chasm and end his life so that we may also see the end of these unnatural creatures. Alright, uh, guys, we're a little bit over time here, so I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to go into this cavern and then head into the Haglands. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up, leave me a like. I do appreciate all the likes that I get. Maybe think about subscribing and hitting that button as well so that you can keep up on this series and maybe any of my other Warcraft videos. Maybe I'll, I'll have something you're super interested in that I've already done or something in the future. As well, leave any comments, questions, or suggestions down below. I do appreciate those, and I try and respond uh, as fast as possible. Well, guys, you have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening, depending on where you are in the world, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Bye-bye now.